Well, I've got my bag.com uh, fired up here, and as you can see, I've got a, a cylinder pressure sensor that's defective. And um, it, it's, if you do a little bit of homework on this, you'll find that the pressure sensor is really the same thing as a glow plug. Uh, it's integrated in the same, uh, the same unit. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and swap this on out, and, um, and then after I swap it on out, then I'll go, I'll go ahead and, of course, clear the, uh, the fault. And with a little luck, uh, this should take care of it. And I just got my new part on in. As you can see, it's uh, this is like $100, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull off the front cover, uh, the top cover, that is, and uh, start disassembling it. It's really not bad. I think the worst part of this whole job is... Uh, being able to carefully disconnect the wire harness from the glow plugs. Um, they're pretty fragile. So uh, anyway, it, it's pretty straightforward. In fact, if I just go ahead and pop the cover off here, which is nothing to it really, this. And you can see the glow plug, which is uh, right here. And um, again, the, these uh, uh, just have to be very gentle. They actually pull off. And uh, some people use spark plug pullers. Uh, I'm going to actually try to, you know, grab, get down in there as far as I can below and, and pull on up with a uh, screwdriver. I've got a little bent over screwdriver that uh, is, hopefully should be able to fit down that hole. And uh, I'll just take a quick video when, when I get to that part. Okay, I want to take a quick little video of, of what I have for my tool to remove that glow plug up, um, connector. I've got just an old screwdriver here that's got a little bent tip to it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide that on down in here. It'll actually feed down in there and get it to the bottom. And I'm going to pull on up on that, and um, I mean, it's pretty elementary. I, it's going to be hard for me to hold the camera here and, and do this, but I'm going to get that behind that uh, boot on the other side, and then I, you know, just essentially pull on up. So hopefully this will pop on out, and um, you know, and that'll be the end of this uh, this particular segment. Again, I'm on number two, so uh, it goes from the you know the, the passenger side over. So there's number one, two, and of course three, four. So um, so I'm just going to go after that number two, which is, again, the vag.com indicated that I got a problem there. And I'm popping on out and uh, just go from there. Okay, I'm going to try to hold the camera, but this is all that it looks like. It's just a snap-in connector. And you uh, just have a... Oh boy, the lighting's really bad there. But it's just like a spark plug. You just have to get um, your tool behind this little plastic piece and pull it up. And it'll release, and, and of course you can see down in the hole there. I can actually show it. Yeah, there it is. Again, it's just a regular spark plug um, connector, and uh, now it's time to get the socket set down out and uh, and pull that on out there. So uh, that's essentially this part, and we'll go to the next step. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull this on out. I got a, a 12 meter deep well socket. And um, of course, with extension, go ahead and put that on in there. Yeah, it can right on up rather easily, surprisingly. Just get it on and out. I might have to grab it with the needle nose. Okay. Here we go. I mean, the lighting isn't the best, but um, just to give you an idea here. All this is is just plugs right on in there. There's again the snap fitting right here. So if you're concerned about when you take this on off, 
Um, you know, you just have to get underneath this and pull it on up, and you should be okay. And uh, what I'm going to do on the replacement is I'm going to put some anti-seize uh, uh, compound on the threads there just to make sure that I don't have any issues should I ever need to pull this one out again. So I think that pretty much covers this part. I think from here on it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'll, uh, nonetheless, I'll wrap this thing up. I'll go ahead and see if I can actually skip this little hole here. Drop right down there. This is one thing you do not want to cross through. I'm going to heat the trouble. And it's not down in there. And that's good. I'm going to go crazy on this. So, that's it. Pretty much from here on, you just snap the uh, wire harness back on in, and hopefully that uh, check engine light will go off. Um, again, this is the repair for the, uh, really it's just to swap out the glow plug, but uh, in my case, I didn't have a glow plug uh, trouble code. I actually had a cylinder pressure transducer trouble code, and apparently the, the pressure uh, sensor is also integrated with the glow plug, so you got if, you, if it's bad, you have to replace the whole thing. Um, pretty straightforward repair. Hardest part is, of course, getting this, this connector off, but it just pulls off. And uh, if you've got something to sneak around the back of that connector here, um, you know, that's the gentlest way of, of doing it. Um, so I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, thanks for watching.